Job's not finished. Job's not finished. Too tired to say anything. <laughs> Charlie, come well, on. Well, yeah, I gave him my my other ones. All right, so we're here at SFU today for a workout. What's the plan? Plan today, well, we got such a huge group, so I split them into smaller groups, obviously, depending on their ability and if they're going to be racing at nationals next week and uh, or world indoors for Lindsay and Cam. Um, we're going to do more speed work today, so more specific stuff, because we haven't done a lot of it, haven't had the weather for it. Um, we, ch we tend to keep the volume up for as long as possible, but I do need to sharpen them up a little bit before we race, so. Yeah, so what's the specific workout then for today? The specific for, uh, workout Cam. for Cam will be um, sets of 300, 200, 100. So five sets, so you're getting about 600 meters in every set with uh, a little bit of jogging in between, so he's still got 3K in volume and working on getting it more towards 1500 pace. Yeah, so since the, I guess, last summer, Cam's been having, like, just some serious breakthroughs. Can you can you illuminate uh, what's going on in his training and, and what's going right here for him recently? You know, honestly, I think it's an accumulation of just consistent hard work for a long period of time. Um, you know, he started in high school and, and had some interruptions with injury as he tried to get stronger. And over the last two years, I think the biggest difference is, is that he's been healthy and he's been consistent. And... That to me is what I always tell them. If we can stay healthy and consistent, we're gonna start building on what we have already. And um, you know, he's been able to manage his time really, really well. I actually think that getting into med school was a big boost to his running because now he didn't feel like, oh, I'm only running, should I be doing something else? Now mm -hmm. he's doing med school and running, I think becomes more free and relaxed and just a huge bonus in his life. Um, and I think that's been part of his his breakthrough. Yeah, Cam Cam just ran a Canadian record in the mile, and he's qualified for World Indoors. Uh, what what's he looking forward to? Is this his first national team that he's he's made? Yeah, this is his first national team, and I think that in itself um, is is a real motivator for him and inspiring. Um, it's something that he has kind of longed for for a long time and uh, he's got it now. He had the ability actually to accept a position on the Pan Am cross country team as well, but you know, we gotta, gotta work towards 1500 now, not 10K. Mm -hmm. He's also nationally carded in the 1500, so we have to start moving towards that focus so that he can continue to be carded next year and the year after, which yeah. he shouldn't have any trouble with now. That's, that's a great point about his cross country season. He had, like, not only has he had some serious middle distance breakthroughs, but become, uh, coming third at nationals for cross country is huge. I, I assume the strength is, is a, a huge part of what's helping him uh, improve so much here. Yeah, I think the strength is a huge part. And, and like I said before, I can't really say it enough the consistency that he's had where he hasn't had these long interruptions he's had that in the past with a knee or you know whatever along the way um, he hasn't had that and and that's allowed him to sort of accumulate a really good base of training all through the fall even the summer leading into the fall um, and and be really good in cross country as well so Cam and uh, Lindsay obviously looking forward to Indoor Worlds. Uh, what's the plan for the next little bit for Addy, uh, Charlie and Aaron? Um, well, they're going to train now, do a bit of a block of training, but Aaron and Charlie are going to NCAAs next week. So um, for Addy, you know, it was really difficult the last two years 
um, we didn't get to go and she was ranked number one. Um, so this year she had already taken a whole year of extra classes so this year she decided not to and she's making that transition to sort of the pro level. Erin mm. um, and Charlie get to enjoy you know some really good competition at NCAAs. Um, I think the collegiate system is a, is a great stepping stone especially for us being in the NCAA here and just giving them so many different types of competitive opportunities. Some are really high level, some, you know, we have to use tactics, um, some there are multiple races in a meet, like at the GNAC, where, you know, Aaron ran a couple of races, mm -hmm. uh, individual races and a couple of relays. Um, so it teaches them a lot of things and, yeah. and it gives them a really kind of safe, good arena to progress in. Uh, and then after that, you know, we'll give Aaron and Charlie to have a little bit of time off where Addie will be winding into outdoors and, and trying to get in that 201 range this year. Mm -hmm. So I assume the goal for, for most of them then is, is Canadian Nationals and beyond, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Um, unfortunately, they cancelled the World Student Games, FISU, yeah. which um, for my group is, is a super important meet. And when I look at some of the past kids I've had that have been on national teams, they've all had that opportunity. And now these guys, by the next time it goes around, they'll be too old mm -hmm. um, and they will miss that opportunity completely. So the only opportunities are like a World Outdoor Championships, which is tough, tough. Um, there is a NACAC at the end of the summer if that keeps going ahead in Commonwealth Games. So things are just being taken away uh, with COVID and, and we have to try and you know keep our attitude um, of high performance and going after other races so that we can achieve the performances mm -hmm. we need. Yeah, athletes, I, I guess, dealing with like a lot of loss, but at the same time, your group has seemed to emerge through that and with some amazing performances. So congratulations, oh, and um, we're looking forward to the workout today. Yeah, thank you. Thanks right. for coming. Um, so, Cam, we're here at SFU for, for a workout. Um, what's the plan today? Uh, to be honest, I don't really know yet. Um, we kind of get our workouts right before during warm-up. Uh, my only suspicion is that Britt mentioned something about doing some speed because we're all kind of sharpening up for championship races. Right. So I think it'll be more of like a 800, 1500 pace workout, but right. um, and then I'm you're not a big fan. I like the longer stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you're preparing for Worlds. Um, how do you feel about that, going into that? Uh, pretty excited. It's my first time making a Team Canada uh, after a pretty long career and long time in the sport. So. Really excited to put on the, the Canada singlet and go out there and uh, I have a lot of confidence actually going in despite it being my first time going in an international stage. Yeah, um, you also had a massive breakthrough race um, pretty pretty recently at Boston. Um, can you just speak to that and that race? Yeah, so I think a week before that it was like cold and rainy day up here, pretty pretty windy and we did like a workout that we, we do around this time every year. And despite the weather, I was like way ahead of what I've ever run before. I think it was it was 10 fours, and I was averaging 58 on my own. Um, so after that, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready for something like in the 354, 355 range. And then the main goal was just to hit the world standard, and then got a little bonus there, which was a pretty cool experience. Right, right. And um, what's it like being in those really big races right now? Yeah. So. Last summer, right at the end of the season, I got a chance to race some of the top US pros. And I remember being, like, although I PB'd, um, I was kind of disappointed because I like didn't put myself in there and wasn't as confident until the near the end. And I was like, every time I get these chances now, I want to like put myself out there. And it's really cool to, to get a, a couple scalps. And maybe I wanted to be a little closer to Josh Kerr, but I'll leave that for next time. <laughs> right, right. And so you're obviously more confident going into these these bigger races. Um, I guess the plan after indoors is, is probably outdoor worlds, right? Yeah, that was the big goal, uh, that and Commonwealth. Um, so yeah, after worlds, we'll get back to training seriously for a couple of weeks and then hopefully bust out a standard or at least increase my world ranking enough that I can get in on that. Awesome, yeah, well, we'll uh, catch you on the workout, but thanks for chatting with us. Thanks. So Aaron, we're here at uh, SFU for a workout. Um, what's the plan today? Uh, good question. I don't even know yet. You don't know yet? Okay. Yeah, just warm up. We usually, uh, kind of thing we do here, we just get our warm up in and then we don't really hear about the workout until after. Okay. We kind of have an idea. I'm assuming we're doing something a bit shorter, something 
some more speed work or 15 specific work, but yeah, not completely sure yet. Um, I think I know the workout. It's, oh, it's you do? three, two, one by five, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Some more fast stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously, you and the team have been having a really strong year over the last uh, last year. Um, could you just speak to like your kind of breakthrough season last year? Yeah, sure. Um, I think a lot of it is due to just the work. Like are like a good group of like three, like me, Charlie, Cam, and I mean Carlos in there as well. Just work really well to, well together, and we kind of elevated as a team. Um, just consistency, really. Not not a lot changed. Obviously, we've been under Brit for a while, so it's just kind of that commitment and getting it done. So. Right. Yeah. And how is it working with uh, with Brit as your coach? Uh, really good. I've had a pretty solid development ever since I've been at SFU. Um, yeah, Brett's a good coach. She has results. You can't can't argue with that. So right. And then um, after nationals, what's the plan for for outdoors and, and all that? What are you looking forward to? Um, we've had a pretty like our focus this year hasn't been honestly to hit indoors too hard. It's kind of focusing on that outdoor season. Um, obviously, NCAA outdoors is a big one. I want to win the 15 there. Even try and get the D2 record. I've been eyeing that one up. Um, and then apart from that too, it's just there's a lot of teams to make this summer. Um, Commonwealth, Worlds, FISU is just cancelled by Athletics Canada or U Sports. But yeah, try and try and make a team, get a get a singlet. Haven't been on the team yet. So Charlie, we're here at SFU for a uh, for a workout a week before nationals. Um, do you know what the workout is? Uh, I don't. We don't typically know the workouts before, but I think if I had to guess, we're probably doing 400s, probably five of them with like two and a half minute break in between. But right, we'll see. Awesome. Yeah, and then what's it what's it like? Um, obviously, that you mentioned training with Cam. Obviously, he's had a pretty big break, breakout year this year, running 352 in the mile. Right. What's it like, kind of seeing that and working out with a guy like that? Um, it, it's inspiring for sure. I I know I've known Cam for a while, and um, he's definitely had his years where he was feeling really frustrated too. He felt like he was banging his head against the wall, but um, he's just like he's a really good testament towards. Um, if you just stay consistent and keep working on it, like you're gonna improve. And um, there wasn't a lot of people asking, like, oh, what's going on up, up at SFU? Like, there are all these breakthrough races, and it's not like we have. There wasn't some magic change, or like we didn't do anything drastic. It was purely just like the atmosphere, of the group, us working with each other to push each other, um, and that just showed for Cam. Cam's been so consistent, and um, yeah, I just super happy for him it's been awesome yeah it's a great group up here um what what are your plans uh, individually i guess after nationals do you plan on kind of competing canadian nationals or yeah or what's the plan um, for there there are a lot of teams to make like national teams to make this year and a few of them are overlapping so we'll see what opportunities present themselves i think we just found out unfortunately fizu got cancelled again mm -hmm. um which is frustrating for sure but we're not putting it past ourselves to make any of the other national teams. I know Aaron and Cam and I all have our eyes set on Worlds is always a possibility. Um, and yeah, who knows what who knows what can happen. Right. Well, uh, we're looking forward to the workout and thanks for thanks for chatting with us. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah. They do, they do something like a cheer, whatever it's yeah.
All right, just heard what the workout is. What, what's the session today, Cam? So we got uh, a classic Brit session, more like 815 stuff. One of my least favorite, even though I've been doing it for years. Um, so it's five sets of 300, 200, 100. Uh, we have two minute break after the 300, one minute break after the 200, and then three minute set break. And going like 800 pace, I guess, the whole time. Like, so we'll see what happens. Gonna be nice. a lot of lactic. Nice. And uh, what's the shoe of choice for the workout today? Uh, since it has to be a little bit upper quality, I guess higher quality, we're going spikes from the beginning. It's not too much volume. So we got the dragonflies on. Nice. Spike of choice, yeah. All right. Okay, good luck with the session. And we're uh, two sets in. How are you feeling about the workout now? Lactic's creeping in. All right. Yeah. That's too funny. Charlie, we're two sets in. How are you feeling so far? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's fast. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how the legs hold up. Do you like this kind of stuff more than the tempo stuff? or? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is a lot more fun. Oh, yeah. Tempo is just grueling. Ripping up the track. Oh, All right. Fun. All right, two sets to go. Aaron's probably gonna take the the next one, so just slot in right behind him. Yeah, feel good. Cause he's racing next week a couple times. So. <laughs> Try to use him. I put you on the spot as you. Good. Right. Right. Check. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron, you done? Yeah. Done. How'd the session feel? It was really good. Yeah. It was good to get the legs going. Yeah. I'm really done a fast one like that in a little bit, so. Nice. Nice to finally touch nice. speed, eh? Yeah, no, it's good to get that going for 
nationals just comes down to a kick. Well, that'd be my race. So. All right, well, yes, sir. good set. Job's not finished. Job's not finished. Work out. You're back. Eh? It's, your uh, it's, like it's easier, eh? Yeah. It's, it's actually we did the same thing in Sedona, pretty much. A bit better. A bit better. A bit better eh? I didn't die as much last it. Uh, there's the altitude, sure. right? Yeah. There's more. There's more altitude here. Yeah, it's on the hill. Make sure when you do that little screen at the beginning. What? It, don't say we're sea well level. We're like I don't know, 600 feet or something like that. Do you think that's a, a key to your success potentially is doing so many sessions up here at so high altitude? I mean, we got a good squad. Results speak for themselves. Exactly. <laughs> we have fun, you know? Nah. We have it's fun just a together. Big we have a solid group. Best middle distance squad in Canada for sure. Hands down. Hands there you down. go. So, How's the session, Carlos? It was good. It was tough. It was a tough, tough session. Yeah. But uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It was fun. It's sunny out, you know, we've had sessions where it's pouring rain, a bunch of wind and stuff, so we're just like feeling really blessed to have sun, honestly. Nice. Because we're so used to like running here where it's like torrential wind and a bunch of like wet snow, sometimes it's slushy and stuff, you know? So like when we have days like that, we just gotta make the, bit, the most out of it. There you go. What's the plan for the rest of the season? I guess you had a, a nice little indoor season and you're working towards outdoors now? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I ran a 401 last week in Boston. So it's definitely a good step up from what I was in the past years. And it's definitely, it definitely helps to have like, you know, some of the best guys in Canada, like Cam, Charlie, Aaron, and now uh, me and my uh, roommate Mark are just following uh, close behind them. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we're uh, all gonna have an awesome outdoor season if we keep working hard and believing in ourselves and also having fun. Like we're always all excited to come to work out. Like it's never like a burden. So yeah, I think, I think we have a very solid group and our coach uh, Britt Townsend definitely has a, uh, kind of like instill the high performance uh, kind of um, surroundings here, like a high performance environment where she has like, she's had Olympians on the women's side and now she has uh, Cam going to Worlds indoors. So yeah, I think she's done a wonderful job. And uh, yeah, I just graduated from SFU. So uh, now I run for Horizon Track Club. It's a club that we started here. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, still around SFU and we're really, really lucky to be uh, able to work out with Britt Townsend, our coach. Good, so. yeah. Do you want to speak a little bit about Horizon Track Club, what you guys are doing in Canadian track and field? Yeah, basically like how it started is like once we graduated from SFU, like we didn't have a, a post-collegiate group. So we're all like kind of racing at races and we had like just random singlets, like just a Nike singlet or Adidas or whatever. So. It was just weird to be on the line with a bunch of boys that we trained together, but we don't even have the same club. So it's, right now it's more so, uh, it is a, I guess kind of a club, like the Bandits Elite um, in Ontario. It's kind of like the same model where we're not actually uh, kind of a registered club, but we like represent each other as a club. Uh, it's almost like a brand as well. We just have fun with it really and like we try and grow Canadian track and field in general. We have a good team. Me and Jose like are, have good marketing backgrounds. So. Uh, we just like trying to like hype up the Canadian track and field in general. Like we don't we don't just think of like our boys or our ladies on our on our squad, but we also think of like shining the light on like other Canadian athletes because just track and field in general is small in Canada. Like there's not a lot of light that's uh, shined on it. So yeah, that's what we're we're trying to elevate everybody's game basically and make it exciting a bit. Good, yeah. So people can follow you guys on Instagram and uh, hopefully get updates about what's going on. In yeah, the exactly. Track and field so world. Horizon Track. Um, we have a, a solid Instagram where we post a lot of content and we have a podcast uh, that we just started as well. So yeah, I mean, if you wanna 
throw the handle, you're welcome to. If not, just go follow, follow yeah. us, Horizons Track, on Instagram. All right, thank you so much. Right, no Good worries. session. All right, boys, you're done the session. What's the feeling going into NCAAs in a week? Feeling good. Feel pretty good. Feel ready. Feeling hungry. Yeah. And what's on the docket for you guys? You got the DMR going? Yeah, DMR win, DMR record. We got a mile one, two right here. Yeah. All right. Then I got the 3K as well. Good. Well, another gold to add to the collection, exactly. I guess. All right, we'll look out for it. See ya. Thanks. Okay. Okay, Cam. Uh, we just finished the workout. How was it? Uh, really good. Um, as always, I don't really like doing 800 work and I always try to argue my way out of it, but sometimes at the end of the day, I know it's good for me. Yeah. So even though I feel way more comfortable running a 5K right now, I know I'm in like, I got good speed because that was one of my best ever for that workout. So Right, and so happy. and so how does, it, how does this make you feel going into Worlds? So I'm already pretty confident in my strength. Um, I feel like... I can hold on and I haven't really died in workouts and I'm always really confident and now I just feel I guess more confident in my ability to kick and especially after this week was a little exhausting uh, I was coming down from a bit of a high of the weekend with a lot of like messages and attention and stuff like that and got a little bit behind in school spent a couple days staying up late waking up early and still was able to come out here and have a great workout so all, all right. things considered pretty excited and what's your mindset going into running the rounds at Worlds? Uh, in the last year, I've been competing really well. I think there's only been one race where I haven't been in like the top three or like contending for the win. So no, just have no pressure. Keep racing how I am. Have the confidence to just kind of get in position no matter what. And I think I'll be able to at least make it to the final. Pretty confident in that. Awesome. That's exciting. Um, I guess I'll let you get in your cool down, but thanks for thanks for having us for this workout. Yeah, it was great. Thanks, thanks for coming out. Hopefully the viewers could see how nice a day it is and what we got to offer at SFU. Uh, I now go across the city to the rivals school at UBC, but I'm always here at heart. It's my home. Right. And can, uh, can viewers find you on Strava? Yeah, so Strava, um, all my stuff goes there automatically so if you want to see any splits and workouts you gotta have to go to the laps once in a while if it's a great workout i'll put on a little funny heading or something like that but just search cameron my last name Osivia, and then i guess instagram too is camera run pro like run as in running not run as in how my name's actually spelled <laughs> awesome okay thank you so much and Thanks good again. luck at, at worlds thank you awesome